Hey guys, what's up? A very, very warm welcome to everyone. I hope all of you guys are having a super amazing day here going on. So guys, I am super excited because I come here with another amazing, amazing topic. That is the story of Dolly, the clone. That is what we'll be discussing right today in this video, guys. And if you guys are new here, if you do not know me, my name is Mohan, Master Teacher of Science from Vedantu. And if you are new to Vedantu, Young Wonders, do not forget to hit on that like button and subscribe right now, like right now. Okay, so with that, let's quickly jump into what exactly is a clone, right? What is a clone? We have heard this word somewhere, right? Have you ever found somebody who looks just like you? Have you? No, right? But what if I tell you there is a way where somebody can create the exact copy of you like how you are your height your hair your, your skin color you know everything exact xerox copy there is a way not just in movies but also in real life that is what was proved when dolly was born so who is this dolly is it a human is it a what is this dolly is it a mission no. So Dolly is this amazing, cute little sheep. Okay. See how cute Dolly is, <laughs> right? How cute is Dolly? Isn't it? So cute. Now we'll try to understand how Dolly was cloned, right? First of all, let us understand what normally happens in reproduction. How are we born? We are born through sexual reproduction. We know that there is a male gamete from the father. There is a female gamete from the mother. They both fuse together in the process of fertilization. Genes, half of the genes from father, half of the genes from mother. We are born. We are the combination of both our father and mother. That's why we are all different guys. We don't look like our father. We don't look like our mother exactly. No, there are some differences. There are some variations. That is why in sexual reproduction, there are always variations because we came from a father and a mother together. Now, is that possible when we talk about cloning? No, because cloning, pay. what do you want? In cloning, you want 100% of the same cells, like exact Xerox, you know, Xerox copy. How do you do it? Let's see. How did they do it? Let's see. So Dolly was the first mammal to be cloned from an adult cell. They cloned the sheep. Exact copy of one more sheep. They made it. That is amazing, right? So Dolly was cloned from a cell that was taken from a six year old Finn Dorset sheep. Now, what is this Finn Dorset? It's a breed of sheep. Where did they take it from? From the mammary gland, right? From where the sheep gives milk. From the mammary gland, they took one cell, right? And they took one more egg, the female gamete, from another sheep, Scottish blackface sheep. So one normal cell from uh, the Finn Dorset, one female gamete from the Scottish blackface. Now what they did, look at this guys, look at this. So from the Finn Dorset, they, they took one cell. Now they are removing everything else. They are just taking the nucleus. You can see only the nucleus is taken. Okay. Here what is happening from the Scottish blackface, they are taking the egg that is the female gamete, but they are removing the nucleus from the egg. That means what? All the genetic materials are removed. Genes, DNA, everything is removed from the egg. Now the egg is just, just with cytoplasm, nothing else, no nucleus. Now what they do is the, the, the nucleus that have taken from Finn Dorset, they put in the egg of the Scottish blackface. Oh my God. Oh my God, right now quickly tell me now that we have removed all the genes of Scottish blackface, the baby which is going to be born will have whose genes? 
the genes will be from this nucleus and this nucleus belongs to Findorset. Exactly. So what happened in Dolly was Dolly was exactly looking like the Findorset mother. Okay. So look at this entire chart. Look at this entire chart. So cells from the animal to be cloned are maintained in the lab so that they do not grow or divide. Okay. We took the egg cell from the black face. Okay. We removed the nucleus. Nucleus was removed. We added this nucleus here. Fusion happened. Embryo started to develop. Now, where will you place the embryo? Will you place it in Findorset or will you place it in Scottish blackface? The egg is from whom? The egg is from Scottish blackface. So we will place the embryo inside the Scottish blackface. So Scottish blackface will be a surrogate mother. The baby is not uh, hers, but she is just having the baby in her uterus. Surrogate mother. Then the cloned animal, the animal which is born, will be exactly like the fin dorset only. The main concept is guys, from whomever the nucleus, from whomever the genetic materials have come, like that, the baby will be born. So now that we know the genetic materials are only from fin dorset and not from Scottish blackface, the baby which was born was exactly like fin dorset only. All right, isn't it so cool? And it looks this cute. See, <laughs> Scottish blackface was the mother and this was Dolly. No connection only. No connection. I think so. Scottish blackface got shocked. Hey, you were born in me. Where is your blackface, da? <laughs> it has a white face. How funny, right? Because Scottish blackface was just a surrogate mother. She was just there to give birth. That's all. Because all the genetic materials were from Finn Dorset. Okay, so Dolly was born uh, to her Scottish blackface surrogate mother on 5th July 1996. So Dolly was a part of the series of experiments that they were doing in the Roslin Institute where they were trying to develop better method for producing genetically modified livestock. That means how we have all the broiler chicken. They are not natural. We have genetically modified so that they can grow faster, so that they can have more meat on their body, like that. So they were performing this experiments where they also performed cloning. Okay, so Dolly was announced to the world on 22nd February 1997. A frenzy of media attention. Media went crazy. They're like, please clone me. Please clone me. <laughs> okay, over the years, Dolly had a total of six lambs. Dolly was also able to give birth. Oh my God. So Dolly also gave birth to six lambs uh, with a Welsh mountain ram. That is a different breed. Not, not needed. The first lamb, Bonnie, was born in April 1998. Look how cute he is. Oh. <laughs> Dolly continued to have a normal life, guys, uh, until February 20, uh, 2003. But when later she developed cuff, uh, on a CT scan, they noticed that she was having tumors in her lungs and she passed away on 14th February 2003 at the age of 6. Right? So Dolly still is remembered after her death. The Roslin Institute donated Dolly's body to the National Museum of Scotland in Edinburgh and people still go visit Dolly to see how amazing science can be. Right? How amazing. Now imagine what if they can clone humans or have they already cloned humans that's a mystery we will leave it for another video guys so i hope this is how the sheep was made using asexual method yeah there, there was no male gamete involved just the female gamete okay so i hope all of you had fun knowing about dolly and how cute she is all right so we'll meet up in another video uh, until then guys do not forget to hit this like button share and subscribe this is me Mohan signing off all of you take care Stay safe. Stay as lovely as always you guys are. Bye bye.